Hello everybody, I'm the world's worst, but you can call me Irols, and welcome back to the updated guide to Gunslinger. I made one of these a bit ago, but it wasn't really everything I wanted it to be. I could have put a lot more effort into it. And also, the solar subclasses for every class in the game have changed. So, I'm going to be going over those changes. Not directly, but this will have those changes included in them. In both the description and, if I remember, the comments section for mobile users, I will have a quick list of timestamps for different topics in this video, in case there's one specific thing you're looking for, or if you want to come back later, maybe while playing Destiny 2, and see what's up with a certain ability, and really the specifics of it. So to start off, we'll go over the super, which is the golden gun for this class, and the different variations of the super that come with the different perk trees. Then we will go over the melee abilities, and the different perk trees with them. Finally, we'll go over some additional perks, those being perks that don't have anything to do with the super or melee ability. Now after that main section, I will be going over some exotic gear, armor in this case, that goes well with the subclass. So there are four exotics for this class that go specifically with the gunslinger, and I'll go over those and give my opinions on them. Now keep in mind, while I do give a lot of statistics with the abilities and stuff, I do include my own personal opinion. And my playstyle might not be exactly the same as yours. So whenever I'm talking about my personal opinion, take it with a grain of salt. And you really need to try out everything in this game to see what playstyle, what skill tree you like. Anyways, let's get into it, starting with the super. The Gunslinger's basic class super is the Golden Gun. When activated, this super summons a solar infused hand cannon, which is used in the same way as most other hand cannons in the game. The Golden Gun is the only hit scan super in the game meaning it has extremely long range, making it great for wide open mats or narrow hallways. The super lasts for 10 seconds, which is much less than any other super in the game, not including instantaneous supers like the Hunter Tether, especially since each shot you fire from it takes up a chunk of the super energy. A single shot from the gun is enough to kill an enemy guardian instantly at most ranges, though if you're really far away it may take two shots because there is a bit of drop off. However, this super does not have the damage resistance that others have, so you are very vulnerable while using it. With the basic Gunslinger subclass, there are two different perk trees that will change how the Golden Gun operates. The first of these is Way of the Outlaw. The Way of the Outlaw Golden Gun is commonly known as the Six Shot Golden Gun due to its perk Six Shooter. This perk allows you to fire the Golden Gun extremely quickly from the hip, along with the slow steady shots of the basic super. It also increases the amount of bullets able to be fired to six from three. The second perk relating to the super is Deadshot, which makes it easier to land hits with the Golden Gun, acting as a type of aimbot. This is great for compensating for the lost accuracy caused by firing from the hit with 6-shooter. Each shot of the super can still one-shot an enemy guardian and deal massive damage to PvP enemies. The second basic skill tree is Way of the Sharpshooter. This skill tree's Golden Gun, also known as the 3-shot Golden Gun, focuses on the precision hit mechanic. The first perk, Practice Makes Perfect, increases the speed at which your super generates for 1.5 seconds with each precision hit you land, allowing players with sharp shooting to use their supers more often. The second perk relating to the super is Line em Up. Line em Up enables precision hits on the Golden Gun, which generate orbs of light and extend the duration of the super, giving you more time to find targets. Another perk that somewhat relates to the super is Knock em Down. After landing precision hit, the buff for this perk will be activated. If there are more than 20 seconds left during the buff, your golden gun will do 30% more damage. Otherwise, it will just increase your handling and stability. Overall, it is very rare that you will have over 20 seconds at all, much less that you will be able to time it so that you have your golden gun ready. And anyways, this would only be good for PvE because there's very few situations where the golden gun's drop off will be compensated for by the 30% more damage. Along with the two basic skill trees, there is a third skill tree, introduced for Forsaken, that completely changes the super. This skill tree is called Wave of Thousand Cuts, and its super is the Blade Barrage. When activated, the super sends you flying up into the air, where you launch waves of flaming knives at your enemies. This works best at medium to close range and deals massive damage, killing any enemy guardian and destroying most PvE enemies. The spread of this ability also allows for it to clear hordes in PvP, or wipe out the majority of an enemy team in Crucible if you get into the right position. Now for my personal opinions. While the Gunslinger Supers do have their uses, they are definitely very situational. Both of the Golden Guns thrive at long range, and all three Supers are great for bursting down enemy Supers. In PvE, I strongly recommend using Wave of Thousand Cuts. 
Blade Barrage is capable of clearing massive hordes of enemies instantly, and you take a huge chunk out of a boss's health pool. This super is also amazing in Mayhem for being able to demolish enemy supers in a second. In Survival and Rumble, the two Golden Guns can quickly take out multiple enemies and shut down supers, making them one of the best supers to use, especially on those long range maps. Finally, in Control, I once again suggest using Blade Barrage to clear zones without any trouble, but Six Shot Golden Gun can also do the trick if you manage to hit multiple hits. Now, Onto the melee perks. The first melee ability we will be going over is the Proximity Explosive Knife, which belongs to the Way of the Outlaw class. This melee ability, like the other Gunslinger melees we will cover, is a throwing knife. This allows it to have much more range than most other classes and subclasses, but it also means that it's hard to land, since you have to take into account the arc's path of the knives and their travel time. Like the name suggests, the Proximity Knife sticks to surfaces and will explode when an enemy gets close to it, or after 14 seconds. The knife itself does a small amount of damage, but the explosion is enough to take away about half of a guardian self. While the knife doesn't deal nearly as much damage as other melee abilities in the game, I think it is pretty good overall, and its ability to bait and the range it gives helps make up for it. Also, this knife can deny areas much like a trip mine grenade, which can make it very useful for control or other point capturing game modes. Personally, I think the other two skill trees throwing knives are much better, but it makes sense due to how good the six shot golden gun is. The melee ability for Wave the Sharpshooter is the Weighted Knife. After a short wind up time, this knife follows the same path as the proximity knife, but deals much more damage. A single hit to the body is enough to get an enemy guardian low enough to finish off with a single hand cannon shot, while a headshot will instantly take them out. This knife also bounces once if it doesn't hit a target, helping to give it a little more range. Precision kills with this ability also instantly recharge it, allowing for it to be used over and over again. While this doesn't work so well in PvE, the damage and range of the knife make it objectively the best ability in the game, with the downsides of only being difficult to hit targets. The third perk tree, that being Wave of Thousand Cuts, has the melee ability Knife Trick. This melee ability throws three flaming knives in a fan-shaped pattern, each dealing a bit of damage and burning enemies, which itself deals a small amount of damage over time. While this ability isn't that good compared to the other two throwing knives, the other perks for Wave of Thousand Cuts make it much more appealing. The first of these is playing with fire, which gives you knife energy when you deal damage to burning opponents. While not as effective as the weighted knife's recharge capabilities, this does help to make it so you have this ability ready more often. The second perk, the Burning Edge, causes you to gain dodge energy whenever an enemy is burning, regardless if you are dealing damage to them or not. The combination of these two perks, along with the Gambler's Dodge, can cause you to almost always have your knife trick ready and give you a decent advantage going into fights. However, these perks are still somewhat underwhelming in my opinion, so I suggest running a good dodge related build, maybe with an exotic we'll cover later in this video, to use the skill tree. Along with perks that contribute to your Guardian Super and Melee abilities, there are also some perks found in the skill trees that don't release either. For the top tree, or way of the Outlaw Gunslinger, this perk is Chains of Well, which increases reload speed for you and nearby teammates when you land a precision kill. The buff lasts 10 seconds and can be stacked up to 3 times, allowing your team in PvE or high intensity PvP to have almost unlimited fast reload. The only other perk that doesn't completely relate to your Guardian Super or Melee abilities is the Waves of Sharpshooters Knock Them Down. Like I stated earlier, this perk increases weapon stability and handling after precision kills. To finish this video off, we'll be going over some exotic armor pieces that contribute to the subclass. The first of these is Celestial Nighthawk. Celestial Nighthawk is easily the best PvE exotic to use with the Golden Gun. This armor piece turns your super into a single shot weapon that deals massive amounts of damage, taking away huge chunks from a boss's health. This can allow you and your fire team to drastically speed up boss fights and strikes and raids. If your whole team is running it, you can also completely take out a strike boss in one phase with just three shots. Next is my personal favorite exotic to run with Gunslinger and PvP, Opidius Bait. This allows you to carry two knife charges at a time. Combining this with Gambler's Dodge, as well as either of the melee abilities for Way of the Sharpshooter or Way of a Thousand Cuts, leads to a ton of knives being thrown around, which can be very fun and very effective at taking out enemies. Another great exotic armor piece for PvE is Shards of Glanor. Shards of Glanor is basically the Blade Barrage version of Celestial Nighthawk, at least with how good it is in PvE. This exotic armor piece returns a large chunk of energy after the Blade Barrage Super. 
While the specific amount depends on how many enemies are hit, it is often upwards of two thirds. This reduces the wait time between supers by three to four minutes, which is extremely good considering how much damage the Bleed Barrage is able to deal. Finally is Young Ahamkar's Spine. This is only good for the few gunslingers who like to use the trip grind grenade, which really isn't a lot. For those who do insist it's actually good, this perk improves the grenades after dealing ability damage. So that has been everything for Way of the Gunslinger, the updated guide, but I do have some charts uh, listing bullet points with the different perks and different benefits to every single perk tree in the Way of the Gunslinger. Now first we'll go over super, a graph for the super, then a graph for the melee ability, and finally a graph for the extra perks. And these are great to just screenshot and use on the go. First, with Way of the Outlaw, you have more shots, can fire quicker, and it is much easier to land shots, allowing you to spray down enemies quickly and efficiently. With Way of the Thousand Cuts, you have instantaneous damage, which you can deal tons of damage much faster than the other two subclasses because it's all at once. You also damage over a wider area, allowing you to take out more enemies easily, and it's the easiest to use. It has a very long range, and overall, it doesn't require the aim or the precision the other two golden guns have. Finally, Way of the Sharpshooter is the hardest to use, but it does have very high damage, highest out of all three, uh, reduced cooldown, extended duration, and you can generate orbs of light with it, giving it a little extra boost to you and your teammates. Next, for the melee abilities, Wave Outlaw has area of effect damage, and it's great for area denial and also baiting enemies due to its lingering effect. Wave of a Thousand Cuts is the easiest to hit, and it does have a fast recharge, and it also benefits to your dodge recharge, allowing you to combo abilities like the Gambler's Dodge and Knife Trick. Finally, Wave of the Sharpshooter has the highest damage in the bounce, and it can also instantly recharge, but once again, it is the hardest to use. So overall, looking at the different perks for every class, Way of the Sharpshooter is the hardest to use, but if you can use it right, you can also get the most benefit out of it. Way of the Thousand Cuts is the easiest to use, but it still has lots of viability and it can still be used extremely well in both PvE and PvP. And Way of the Outlaw is somewhere in the middle of both viability and how easy it is to use. It's not as hard, but it does take some practice and overall this perk is best for just spraying down enemies and taking down as many as possible.